Thank you, Clark. I acknowledge Senator the Honorable Dr. Record. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President. Madam President, I rise as leader of government business to officially welcome the three senators who were just uh, sworn in to the Senate. Uh, I am sure that the minority leader would wish to say a few more words in respect of the senator on his side, but we are particularly happy to welcome the senators on the government side, Senator Richards and uh, Senator Lewis. Uh, Madam President, Senator Mervyn Richards is the former director of sports and has served as president of the Antigua and Barbuda Football Association and the national youth football coach for Antigua and Barbuda. Senator Richards, who has pursued studies at the University of Canberra in Australia and the Center of Excellence in Football in Trinidad and Tobago, in 2012 received the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Award for Sports. He's also a national awardee for public service in sports. He is represented Antigua and Barbuda and the Leeward Islands in both football and cricket. Senator Richards is also a trained telecommunications technician, having studied and worked in a supervisory position for Northern Telecom in the United States of America. Madam President, Senator Richard Lewis, a former Assistant Director of Education and Director of the Education Management Information System, EMIS, is the holder of a Master's of Science degree in Management Information Systems from Nova Southeastern University and a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer and Management Studies. Senator Lewis, who co-authored the CAFSET Antigua Office Workbook, an integrated approach to Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint Plus, used in schools across the island, is a trained teacher in information technology and a former lecturer at the University of Technology in Jamaica and UWI's School of Continuing Studies in St. John's. Senator Lewis currently works as an IT consultant and is a director of the Board of Directors of the Antigua and Barbuda Development Bank. He's also the current chairman of the UPP St. John's Rural West constituency branch. Madam President, once again, it is certainly my pleasure to welcome these two government senators. I also, on our side, extend a welcome to Senator Marshall, an attorney at law, and we look forward to their contribution in the Senate. Madam President, it would also be remiss of me not to recognize and to record the contribution of our outgoing senators, Senator, the former Senator Colin Councillor Derrick and former Senator Anthony Stewart. They certainly would have made a sterling contribution to the Senate and we all wish to record our deepest appreciation to the contribution that the two outgoing senators would have made to this honorable house, if it pleases you, Madam President. Thank you very much. I, I will start by saying that I am very inexperienced and um, I hope to learn a lot from, uh, from this exercise. And I have now learned and got close to, I've been accustomed to this house, but I've, I've, I've been seated in the observer section. And I must say it certainly feels nice to be a little lower, <laughs> and particularly on this side. <laughs> um, I've also heard from Brother Weston, who, unlike uh, his colleagues, Senator Weston, sorry, and it, uh, it proves that sometimes empty vessels make a lot of noise. And I, he seemed to think that, uh, you know, he feels strong to say others are weak. <laughs> but that's not the case with me. And he says he knows me very well, and I'm very up to the task of any battle that will come my way. But it is with deep sense of gratitude, I must say, and humility, that first I must take this opportunity to 
express my most sincere appreciation to the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, the Dr. Bowen Spencer, as well as his cabinet colleagues for, for having found me worthy and capable of being appointed as a senator in this most honorable house of Antigua and Barbuda. I find it an honor because and a privilege to serve the people of Antigua and Barbuda in this capacity as a senator. And I have in the past represented the people with distinction in the field of sports, having given many years and I've given my best because it is my intention to, to serve as well with distinction in this honorable house. It is also my intention to, to put together a team of key individuals that will, will form the community and the constituency in which I intend to represent next year in the upcoming general elections. Yeah. And I am doing that for them to provide me with the guidelines and the guidance, yeah. and also to provide me with the input for all bills that will come before the Senate to debate. I am fully aware that I serve at the pleasure of the Prime Minister and also the United Progressive Party government. And it is also my intention to put strongly forward my thoughts and opinions, as well as those of the people that I will represent during caucuses of my side's senator, senators prior to debating of bills that the, so that the best drafted bills can put forward towards this house. I also wish to, to say, Madam President, that the late great President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, had stated that some men see things as they should be and ask why. I believe that I'm one of those persons. And I'd just like to end in closing that as a team player for the sports that I have represented Antigua and Barbuda and the people with, that I will state that in the end, we all must play for the one team, Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam President. I acknowledge Senator the Honorable Richard Lewis. I rise to make some brief remarks, basically to say thank you to those who have played a significant role in molding me into the person I am today. And I seek your permission to make reference to some prepared remarks, Madam President. As a believer in Jesus Christ, I believe that my steps are ordered by him. Mm -hmm. And so I do not worry over the future, for I know what Jesus said. And today, I will walk beside him, for he knows what lies ahead. Amen. Good song. Good song. Amen. Madam President, I am indeed grateful to the Honorable Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Dr. The Honorable Winston Baldwin Spencer, for recommending my appointment to serve in this Honorable House. This was not something I expected, nor something I campaigned for. It came, and I am embracing it with a humble and thankful heart. I stand with mixed emotions. 
happy for the opportunity to serve the people of Antigua and Barbuda. But at the same time, wishing that my parents were here to witness today's proceedings. They're both deceased. And I must say that they instilled in me the love of God, love for family, love for others, love for country. Growing up in the Grace Farm community was not easy. And my mother, in particular, sacrificed much to ensure that we're well taken care of. She taught us to be thankful for small mercies, to be peaceful, honest, and kind, and to do good unto all men and, and women. And I live my life by these principles. To my brothers and sisters, and my last brother is seated in the gallery, Ali, I wish to say thank you for the special role you played and continue to play in my life. Madam President, it is said that it takes a village to raise a child. And that was my experience in the Grace Farm community. And therefore, I pay tribute to those from my village who helped my mother in raising me. To my church community, my past teachers, former colleagues in education, thank you for the positive influence on my life. From my childhood to present, and I must say, uh, Madam President, that you two at the Otto's Comprehensive School played a significant role in my life as one of my teachers, and I thank you dearly for that. From my childhood to present, women, and I say women, have played a most significant role in my life. My mother, my community mothers, my sisters, and others. One such woman is a lady with a beautiful heart. My best friend of 19 and a half years. My confidant and wife of 15 years, Jessie Grinley Lewis. And I wish to say to her, thank you for loving me. To my children, I say thank you for your love. To my fellow branch members in the UPB St. John's School West constituency branch, thank you for your continued support and for having me or giving me the opportunity to serve you for the past nine years as your chairman. I say, Madam President, any success that I experience as chairman of the UPB St. John's World West Branch is due or attributed to the mentorship I received from two UPB stalwarts in our community, the late Senator Lionel Combs and Mr. Alfred Allen and I pay tribute to them for that. I remember the night before Senator Gums passed on, a team from the branch visited with him. We prayed, and his last words to me were, Richard, take care of the flock. A responsibility that is great, but I'm up to the challenge, and I'll ensure that I live up to those responsibilities. To those who took the time to offer words of encouragement, I say thank you. Finally, to my colleagues in this honorable house, I listened as the sentiments were expressed, and I'm taking all sentiments on board, and I will decipher in my way. <laughs> thank you very much for your comments and for welcoming me, and I look forward to the spirited debates. Madam President, thank you for your indulgence, and I pledge to do my best in my service to the people of Antigua and Barbuda. With these words, Madam President, if it pleases you, I take my seat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.